San Martin Square, a meeting point for demonstrators. Every week, Pilar and Marco come to support the prosecutors who are leading an anti-corruption crackdown. My brothers and sisters, we need to fight together in our neighborhoods and in the streets. Down with corrupt politicians and entrepreneurs. Together with their group, they've been taking to the streets ever since one of the anti-corruption prosecutors was dismissed. This was the demonstration from the 3rd of January. That's when many people decided to take to the streets and support the prosecutors. They and their families were threatened for doing their job. It's important for us, the people, to show that we have their back. And today, there's a real possibility that we'll put an end to corruption once and for all. Demonstrations could make this happen. In the space of only a few months, every president from the past 20 years has appeared before court on corruption charges. Some, like the leader of the Conservative Party, Keiko Fujimori, were given prison sentences. And when police showed up at former President Alan Garcia's home, he committed suicide. Politicians are suspected of having received payments from the Brazilian construction giant Odebrecht. The company has admitted paying $29 million worth of bribes in return for highly profitable contracts. Overlooking the city of Lima, a symbol of this corruption scandal. The Christ of the Pacific, a gift from Odebrecht to Peru. Francisco Duran explains how the company managed to convince the government to hire its services. What's interesting in the case of Odebrecht is that they designed an entire system to exert their influence. They created a special unit within the company, which they called the Division of Structured Operations. Its purpose was to finance electoral campaigns and pay out bribes. Every Sunday, an investigative television show broadcasts the latest on the scandal. In this episode, Lima's former mayor has been remanded in custody as she awaits her trial. She's suspected of having received $3 million from the Brazilian giant. And some are convinced there's still more to come. There are aspects that haven't been revealed yet. Information the public is still waiting to hear about. There are Brazilian entrepreneurs who have yet to appear before the courts. This is why the public is still following the case closely. But amid the crackdown on corrupt politicians, critics say the judiciary has gone too far. We must be one of the only countries in the world where someone can be imprisoned for 36 months while an investigation is being carried out. I believe that we should resort to remand custody only in very specific cases. And there is so much pressure on the judiciary that judges are struggling to remain impartial. Journalists have also come under fire for their coverage of the scandal. Gustavo Guriti has been following the case for years, and some are accusing him of playing a part in Alan Garcia's decision to commit suicide. There are organized campaigns going on, fueled in part by professional internet trolls, dedicated to this. Large-scale misinformation campaigns. There have also been open calls to murder me, as well as for mobs to come and destroy our offices. But thousands of Peruvians still support the works of the journalists and prosecutors investigating the case and are determined to keep up the pressure on the government until justice is served.